So we'll take questions now. We'll start with Hunter Miller. Uh, you're, I think you're muted. What's up, Joe? Good to talk to you again, man. Uh, How's it been, going? You've got a pretty cool story. You're a tight end in high school, uh, committed to Utah. Utah State is a tight end. Uh, you go on a mission, come back to BYU, and then you go to UVU for a semester or two and come back, and now here you are at BYU again as an offensive lineman. How did you get to this point? Who are some of the people that helped you along this way? Uh, I'm just grateful to BYU, um, the institution as, as a whole. Um, I've had my ups and downs here. Um, as you said, I, I was out at UVU for a semester, and um, I eventually came back. But um, I'm, I'm grateful for the coaching staff. You know, they, they stayed by my side um, through every step. Um, especially Kalani, Coach Grimes, Coach Clark, Coach Mateos. Um, those are people that really helped me out and be here and I'm where I'm at today. Jared Lloyd next. Joe, we were just talking to Coach Grimes and he said that, you know, James, of course, is a starter and then Tristan was kind of the backup at center and you were kind of in that third hole. And then all of a sudden, you're the starter. <laughs> what was that like as, as things kind of came together and you got that opportunity to, to be the starter last week? Um, it felt good, you know. And um, as good as it felt, I know it took um, a lot of them to trust me to, to man the, the center spot and to run the show on the offense. And so um, that goes a long way, and it gave me a lot of confidence that um, I'm one that they can trust um, to run this offense and um, to help this team to a victory. Coach Grimes said that he told you kind of the middle of last week, hey, you've got a lot of people counting on you. We, we need you to step up. And he said that that really galvanized you, just really got you going. And, and then you really kind of kind of ran with it from there. What was that like? And, and what did that mean to you, that experience? Well, it, it meant a lot. Um, and the way that our team has functioned this year, there's a lot of trust um, from players to coaches, coaches to players, and players to players. And so when he had told me that um, – I kind of just had to step up to the plate. There's a lot of people on the offense that had trusted me um, to run the show and um, point out the IDs and, and to do the, the, my 111. And so I'm just grateful that I have teammates like that that, that can trust me. Okay, we'll take a question from Jake Catch. Joe, going off with kind of what Jared is talking about, we talked with Coach Grimes, and he said that they talked to you last year about moving to offensive line, and Coach Mateos was really the one that was pushing you to make that transition. What did he sell you on this – convince you you know what let's go give this a shot <laughs> uh there there wasn't really much that he had to sell you know um I'm kind of one that just listens to my coaches um and so I had a meeting with Grimes and Mateos and coach Clark and even Satake and so um, I knew that it was one where they all had believed in that move um and I saw it in their eyes and I knew that they had believed in me to to make the move um and so it wasn't there wasn't one any big sale it was more of trusting the scheme and trusting the coaches and I felt like that's that's kind of what it came down to me. And um, I kind of just took it and ran with it. I, I, I trusted the scheme and I love the scheme that we run and I'm grateful for the coaching that has been put in. When was the last time you played a full game of football? 2014, a long time ago. So it, it felt good to be in there and to bang some heads and to be with the boys and walk away smiling. And so that, that felt really good. How would you assess your play in your, I guess, your first full game in six years? Um, better than I thought. Um, there's still a lot of room for improvement, honestly. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll never settle on, on how I'm playing. Um, there's always room for improvement, and that's one thing that, that I kind of like to run with. And so I take pride in learning and learning new things, learning new steps. And um, that's, yeah. A question from Jared Lloyd. I don't know if you saw it, Joe, but a lot of people were uh, enjoying uh, retweeting the video of you pushing the two guys into the sideline. What was it like to watch that? Um, and it felt good. Um, it was a reverse, and it, it felt good being in the open. Um, kind of flashback to the tight end days where you're out in the open trying to block a DB, and so um, it felt good and lucky enough to get two with one. And so, um, yeah, that was just really fun. The hope every year is that everybody on the line will stay healthy or whatever, but that's not really realistic. As you look around at the depth and how guys are developing and ready for their opportunity like you had to be last week, what do you see as the, as, as the guys throughout the offensive line are, are preparing in, in case they're needed? I see depth. Um, I, I see depth in, in all five positions. Um, I really think that we're versatile to where 
Um, a tackle can play guard, a guard can play tackle, a guard can play center. Um, and I also see um, a lot of mentors from the upperclassmen. Um, and James Empey, for example, was the one that mentors me every day. Um, and I was glad that he, he was at the game. Um, he showed up to the game injured and he was on the sideline. So it gave me more confidence that I have another mentor, someone that's seen the game, started the past three years, um, be there on the sideline. And so I, I feel like there's like there's a versatility on the offensive line that we have. And there's a lot of mentorship that's that's being passed down from the upperclassmen. Hey, uh, question from Hunter Miller. Yeah, Joe, I know you're a guy that likes to prepare and works hard and prepare as if you were the starter, you know, this whole this whole offseason. How did that help you going into this last week's game? And what were kind of the emotions like during the, those 60 minutes? Um, the emotions were high, but the emotions were also relaxed because um, Coach Mateos had really prepared us great for this for this upcoming season. Um, schematic wise, there were a lot of teach tapes. There were a lot of times um, when spring ball had gone and shut down to where we went into quarantine, there was a lot of time still together on Zoom and um, learning the scheme and learning the IDs. And so um, just the way that he has helped us um, understand the scheme has, has really been um, a way of our success this season as an offensive line unit. And I know you've got a lot of friends in a lot of different places, being from Glendale, a lot of connections all over the place. Uh, who are some of the guys that you heard from after, after your game and uh, what did they say to you? Uh, a lot of it was just a good game. You know, it was one great game that I, that I had played. Um, and uh, there was just a lot of mentors that, that had reached out, a lot of family. Um, and my Uncle Will, um, he, he had reached out and texted me. And so it was just great just to see the support system that I have and the support system that each player has. And a lot of us look forward to those texts after our games because that support system, they're, they're the ones that watch every down, watch every snap, watch every movement um, of us. And so it's, it's great to just – receive feedback from the ones that we love and the ones that we play for. Okay, we'll take a question from Sean Walker and then Jake Hatch. Uh, yeah, Joe, you, uh, I mean, great game the other night, uh, playing center and, and kind of manning the offense, leading the offense like you did. Is there a small, maybe tiny little part of you, though, that also kind of – goes up to Coach Mateos and Coach Clark and whatnot still and, and, and goes, hey, can I, can I maybe get a little package in there? Because I could catch some balls too, Coach. Like, is there maybe a small part of you that would be okay maybe going out for a pass here and there as well? Or are you fully uh, committed to offensive line? There was. I, I'll, say, I'll honestly admit that there was. Um, there was probably 25% of me that, that wanted to do that. Um, but after the move to center in spring, I kind of threw it out the window and I kind of run, run away with – um, learning probably the most important position in, in the offensive line. Um, and so as of right now, no. Yeah, Joe, Coach Grimes said that he feels like the strength of this UTSA defense is that defensive line. Can you give us just a little bit of a scouting report of what you see from them? Um, I see a lot of uh, twitchiness. I see a lot of physicality, um, especially the, the nose tackle number one. Um, I see a lot of people that love to move around. They really love to move around. They love um, to just pass rush, and, and they have a lot of motors. I have a lot of respect for them after watching film, and um, I know that they're not going to take plays off and um, give us an easy one. And so um, we're, we're just kind of level-headed right now. We're um, taking in each practice at a time, and we're going to do our best on Saturday. Okay, hey, any other questions for Joe? Okay, then. I think we're good. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks, yep. Joe. Thank you. Thanks, Joe.